today we're seeing if all of this candy can stop a bullet. Hey y'all, since it is Halloween season, we decided to do a Halloween themed video. And of course that includes candy. And what else better to do than shoot it and see if it's bulletproof. So, Gabby and I went to Walmart and grabbed probably the most favorite candy you could get. We got some Almond Joy, we got Kit Kat, we got Dum Dums, Twix, Krabby Patties, which are the best, some Airheads, Reese's, and Snickers. Now, we're going to melt it all, freeze it, and see if it can be bulletproof. So now we have to unwrap everything and make it into one big cavity fist. have to do a couple batches we don't know yet maybe two or three um but so how we're gonna do this is we have a pot of water and we're just gonna put this bowl in it so when the water heats up it heats up the chocolate and the candy so we don't burn anything so that's how we're gonna do this down just a little bit more um, we're gonna take these suckers and we're just gonna cut this off okay, so what we're gonna do with them after we cut all of them off is we're gonna put some in there and some on top so then that way it's got some harder spots in all this mess all this gooey gooey ghoulish mixture So now that that first patch is done, we're just going to keep doing that over and over again until that jack and lantern's full. Now we're done with the second batch, so we're going to go ahead and pour, pour it in. This is 
our last bag, last batch. And I chose the green Kit Kats because they look different and also because of all the dark brown chocolates that we have, I wanted to mix it up with some green and make it feel more, you know, witchy or Halloween. So, there. So far we have added three different layers, so this will be our fourth and final layer. If you can tell, it's pretty solid. It, it's, it's pretty heavy too. That's probably easily 10 pounds. Now, one last layer. So we just now finished it and God, it looks so ugly. It's so nasty. But if you can tell, there's that little line right below the eyes and that's where it stops. So this is probably where we have to aim, right in the mouth. But we weighed it, it is 10 pounds 10 of- 10 pounds, but it feels like 20. 10 pounds weird. of straight chocolate mm -hmm. and and whatever it was else. Forty dollars worth. Forty dollars worth of chocolate, and uh, other candy like Airheads and Dum Dums, suckers. Now the next step is to freeze it and make it even harder. So there you go, Gabby. Go ahead and put it below the peas. There you go, right there. So it's gonna have to sit there for about a day or two until it's fully, fully frozen and even harder. That way, when we shoot it, nothing gets through it. So, for me, it'll be two days, but for you, it'll be right quick. Two seconds. So, I will see you then. We just got done. And it's all frozen. As you can tell, past two days. So now, time to shoot it. We're going to test this jack-o'-lantern and candy just like last time with the homemade body armor. With the same guns and same ammo. We are shooting the same Ruger 2245 light with 32 grain, 22 long rifle. Did I miss? Did I miss? I missed. So we just shot it in the bottom, right below the mouth. And nothing. Completely stopped it, but I expected that. So now, nine millimeter. Now we are on to nine millimeter with the Glock 17 Gen 4 shooting full metal jacket, nine millimeter, 115 grain. We just shot that nine millimeter right there, right in the mouth. Nothing. Completely stopped that one too. I kind of expected that one. It didn't ricochet through the bottom either. So now we're gonna skip it up a notch, skip the 40, go 45. Now 45, I have the custom two Kimber. Don't know what grain, but it's a 45. We shot it right in the exact same place, basically. You can definitely tell that's a nine, that's 45. Oh, completely stopped that one too. No bulge, nothing, it completely stopped. Now we're shooting 5.56, five, I have the Core 15 air platform with 5.56, five, 55 grain. Right there, that's where that 22 bullet went. Right, 556. 
Oh my goodness. There's no way. I completely stopped it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but look up here, it cracked. I did crack it. So, so, just in case you have about 10 pounds of chocolate, melt it down, freeze it, you can use it as body armor. It will stop everything up to an AR or 556. We would use something bigger, but we don't want to disturb all the neighbors. So maybe later on we'll get a 308 or something and try and punch a hole through it. Comment down below what you want to see next time. We just want us to shoot. And we'll see you next time. Hey. Fly with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal.